Back in 2022, Nissan unveiled a couple of concepts that were based on the Nissan Frontier and they all looked very cool and I thought that all of them were going to go into production. It looks like we're starting with the hard body concept from 2022 that is now in, in production with the 2024 Nissan Frontier hard body edition and I love the name of this truck. It sounds like a rugged little thing and that's exactly what it is however it is a cool design it is a cool truck the frontier overall what we're going to do in this video i'm going to show you uh the front side rear the interior of the hard body but there is something that is a little bit concerning so let's have a look at the uh spec and tech here from the article from car and driver i'm going to link it down in the description so 2024 nissan frontier hard body edition starts at forty two thousand ninety five dollars the thing is when i saw this car when i saw this truck it looks like a bare bones truck with a couple of cool retro graphics on it and you also have this retro red paint you have uh, the retro wheels and a couple of decals on the hood so i thought this was going to be the base model with just some decals on it and cost around maybe like 32 or something like that It'd be a very base truck so I think this might be maybe a little greedy because have a look at this. We don't even have the LED headlights in the front end of the hard body, but still it looks great. I just think the pricing is a little bit off here. Nissan's midsize truck is now available with a cool seven, in seven inch wheels, all terrain tires, a sport bar and other retro details. This package, the hard body package costs uh, close to four grand and it's available on the SV crew cab four x four trim. So it looks nearly identical to the Project Hard Body concept, although Nissan chose a different uh, type of tire for the production version. And that is pretty unfortunate because I think the tires looked fantastic on the concept and I wish they would have put those into production, but that's an easy change if you decide to, you know, you want to buy this truck, but then you're going to have to add like two grand worth or 1500 worth of tires to make it look uh, properly like the concept and properly off-roady when it comes to the tires. So you have the red paint like the OG version, it also has the 7 inch wheels, mimics the original, we're gonna have a closer look at this original uh, in just a second. You have black over fenders, a front skid plate and some special decals. A sport bar is mounted behind the cab but it lacks the lights seen on the concept. So the concept also had some very cool lights up here, auxiliary lights that uh, I think you you know it wouldn't be too hard to implement that on a production car. Just partner up with some light uh, company and just add it onto the truck with the wheels and you would have a very cool truck. For 2024 Nissan also adds um, a new SL trim for the crew cab models. It's a more comfort focused trim and pricing for the SL starts at $40,975 while the base S starts at $31,105 and this is the pricing that I was looking for when it comes to this hard body design. So let's jump into Photoshop here and let me show you uh, the design of this new 2024 hard body. As I said, I've, I've made a couple of in, in-person reviews already on the uh, on the Frontier. You can go and check them out on the Sketch Monkey channel if you want to. And in that video, I talk about this design and just how good of a refresh this is because the old Frontier was definitely old and in need of a <laughs> you know of a redesign. And I think this redesign that they did here is absolutely beautiful because it looks very chiseled and chamfered in the front end. I do like this headlights, it reminds me of the Ram 1500 headlights, specifically when you have the LEDs in here, which we don't have, as I said, in this hard body version. However, I do like that we have the blackout lower section in the front, the graphics definitely bringing back that retro vibe and also gloss black grille right here with the Frontier stamp. You can see the decals up here on the hood. Further down, it looks like we do have a proper skid plate down here, so that is all good. But looking at the overall you know, vibe of this, it f looks like a base model. And that is why the 42095 uh, 42, or whatever the pricing was feels a little steep to me. But have a look at the original here. So this is the uh, original hard body. And I do love this uh, truck because this is a proper truck. This will go for a million miles as long as you take care of them and it definitely looks like a hard 
body this thing that's ready to uh, get to work. I also like the, the angle that we have on the hood. This looks like one of these Need for Speed um, extras, extra cars on the tracks. If you were to add a truck on there, it would probably look something like uh, the original Nissan Hardbody. But what I love about this, have a look at these wheels. And they essentially took the exact same styling that we have on the original hard body and applied it onto the 2024 model. And these are wheels that I would never switch out if I were to get, you know, buy the 2024 hard body. All I would do is definitely add some more aggressive tires around these beautiful 17 inch wheels that we have going around here too. Similar with the tires that we had in the concepts. Looking at it from a side view, we have a very clean shoulder line right here. We have a couple of dips in the fenders and you have the headlights sticking into this fender. Again, this one, the hard body, I think I, w I prefer it to have these old school a light bulb headlights instead of the LEDs because it suits this retro vibe more than having the LEDs. But every single Frontier comes with full LED taillights. Pretty interesting when you think about it. You can have the base model uh, of the Frontier, but you still get the LED taillights. I wish they kind of had the LEDs all around because that is uh, one detail that makes the, the Frontier look like a modern truck. I do like these proportions. As you see, I'm sketching them out right here. And it feels like very proper looking truck proportions to me. So, you know, with the three box design, we have one box here, another box right here for the greenhouse. And then you have the third box being the engine and the front fender looking fantastic. Now in the rear end, we do have some new decals for the hard body. Not sure if this is worth, you know, how many extra thousand you pay for this specific package. You could probably just buy a base Frontier and make it in a red one and then make it into a hard body yourself with the graphics. And I think this bar up here is actually an option for every single Frontier that you can add to it and you can add some lights up here like we had on the concept which is missing in the production version. But have a look at this. Here are the LED taillights. So you can't get them with, you can't get the Frontier with any other taillights than these. So that's why I think it's interesting that the front uh, where you have the most identity, where you can actually get the old school bulbs, but you can't get that in the rear. And then you can see we have the black bumper in the lower section looking very retro as well. And look at the interior here. This interior feels, again, pretty basic to me and it feels kind of dated already. And you have the small screen, so you don't get the big screen in the hard body and you also have a very chiseled uh, layout for the overall interior for example these chamfers there's nothing wrong at all with this interior but the styling still feels a little dated because look at for example these uh, dials here and then how this is integrated in the overall dash with this border that doesn't look very uh, 2024 to me, but you still have physical buttons for the uh, climate control settings and for pretty much everything right here. And you also have analog tachometer and speedometer in a pretty, you know, industrial looking housing going around it. And looking at the steering wheel, same deal here. It looks pretty dated to me. And that's again, why I'm a little bit surprised by the the pricing for this hard body. And here you can see the comparison between the old super cool hard body and the new one right here. Of course, this was not a crew cab. The original one, you only had two doors on this, but it still looks like a proper looking truck. And I, if I were to get this one, I would keep it original. I would not touch it one bit. I would not even switch out the wheels and tires on here because I think this is such a cool looking truck. And same goes for the new 2024 hard body. As I said, the only surprise here is the pricing. If it were priced around like $35,000, to me, that would make a little bit more sense.